Chai Tin is a city located along the Pacific Ocean border of Chile along the Ring of Fire and is situated on the Peru-Chile subduction zone. The gray lines in, in this picture show where the plate boundaries are and the arrows point in the direction of the subducting plate. The Ring of Fire is the second largest chain of volcanoes in the world and exists because of the oceanic plates under the Pacific Ocean that create subduction zones when colliding or subsiding to thin continental plates to form volcanoes. Chile is located on the border of the Nazca Plate under the Pacific Ocean and on the South American Plate. This image shows how the Nazca Plate subducts at a somewhat large angle which explains the volcanic activity in the southern part of Chile. At this convergent boundary, the Nazca Plate is reaching down into the hot river of magma from the mantle shown at the bottom and slowly reaching the surface between the plates to cause volcanic activity. Chile is home to a two-mile-wide Chaitin volcano classified as a caldera which lies along the southwestern border of Chile about six miles from the nearest town. After dating the older tephra near Chaitin, it suggested that there had been no eruption history from the Chaitin caldera for about 9,400 years. But on April 30th, 2008, a series of earthquakes was felt near the city of Chaitin and would be the first warning signs of volcanic activity in this area. This caldera in Chile formed from the magma previously shown in the mantle reaching the surface and creating a chamber shown at layer 2. When it reached maximum capacity at layer 3, it erupted explosively. May 2, 2008, a column of ash erupted from the volcano shooting about 50,000 feet in the air and continued for the next 6 hours. This short clip shows some of the precursors and effects from this volcanic eruption. On the day of the eruption, 1,300 people were evacuated from the town and by the next day, all 5,000 people living in Chai Tin were forced to evacuate by boats to be taken to other areas because the volcano continued to harshly erupt for the next six days. The human and natural effects were extensive. The continuation of ash flow polluted rivers near Chai Tin and affected the water quality of nearby communities. The ash flow reached about 1,000 kilometers all the way to the coast of Argentina. Ash clouds closed airports, destroyed the town, affected agriculture, and closed nature preserves. Floods and debris flow flooded the town of Chai Tin, causing an economic loss estimated at $12 million in damage. Rocks, trees, houses, and even cars were swept through the town in this debris flow from the volcano. From a nearby lake were tested, and there were 26 layers that had been deposited onto the land, 10 of which were dated from the Chai Tin. In addition to the 2008 eruption, there had been three previous unknown eruptions from 420 AD to 850 AD. So there is evidence that another eruption of this magnitude is very likely, and authorities should take proper steps to mitigate its effects. This eruption, Chai Tin was considered unactive and was not monitored. After the eruption in 2008, real-time telemetered seismometers like this one were installed around Chai Tin with the help of the USGS to monitor any future problems. Chile and its neighboring country, Argentina, must collaborate on these efforts as their shared border has over 100 volcanoes near it that pose a threat to both countries. The government of Chile has since introduced a new monitoring system to monitor potentially dangerous volcanoes called the National Network of Volcanic Vigilance. Included in this monitoring is the event shown in this image like monitoring the ground deformation and gases and installing remote sensing devices. There are many things you can do to predict a volcanic eruption like look for signs and study past experiences. You can then have a plan set in stone and have a system to warn the public.